obviously disappointed. Uh, I thought we played a brilliant game, to be honest with you. Overall, obviously, the two early substitutions changed uh, the formation a little bit. We had to tweak it a little bit. I give the players an awful lot of credit. They were they, they hung in there and the battle, and we outplayed them. You know, we, I mean, I don't know what the possession was, but I don't know much. The stats haven't been given anything yet, but I thought we were the better team for a good 75, 80 minutes of it. And you know, it was a set piece that did us, did us in in the end. But the effort was outstanding. The press was outstanding. The work rate, Sullivan, uh, Sammy, and McCall were absolutely unbelievable in the midfield. So I thought it was just a really gutsy performance and. You know, don't always get your just rewards. I think we're a little bit unlucky in the end, uh, but we move on, and there's no finish line for the group, so we just keep going. Thank you, Coach. And McCall, if we could also get your uh, overall thoughts on the match. Yeah, I thought we performed really well. Um, we came out with a game plan from our coaching staff, and we executed it, and I thought we controlled the game. Um, I thought we were the better team on the day, um, but sometimes that experience in that class finds the back of the net, and um, that's what playoff ball is all about. You know, sometimes you put together a great game, but it just doesn't happen for you on the day. And, um, you know, props to Portland. I thought they put put a good show out there, and uh, we just weren't able to execute. Thank you, McCall. At this time, we'll go ahead and open it for questions. If you could please raise your hand. We'll go to our first question in the back. Uh, Tanner Wall from the Philadelphia Inquirer. Paul, how hard was it to get a rhythm going in that first half when their players were clattering and you were all over the place? <laughs> well, I'm glad you said that, not me. Um, I mean, yeah, they were physical, overstretched from physical, might have been more than physical. I, mean, I think they had more, more, more tackles and passes in the first half, uh, so they got into us and that was looked like it was their game plan and unfortunately it did knock us out of our rhythm. Uh, but you know, the, the referee got a good second half and settled the game down, but probably should have done a little bit earlier. But you know, we, to be honest with you, like, I give the players a lot of credit. While that was going on and some of the challenges that were going in were a bit ridiculous to say the least. They hung in there, there was no silly stuff from us. And, uh, you know, there wasn't any late stuff from us. I thought we equipped ourselves really well and just hung around. And you know, I'm surprised the way Portland played in the first half. To be honest with you, it's not that type of team. We had some great players, and I'd rather see the players play than, than kick people. But uh, they chose the latter in the first half. At least the second half the game started, and it's more like a 45-minute game, I think, than it was a 90-minute game. Okay, take our next question. Two questions first for Paul. Which of the first? Which of the two first half injuries disrupted what you guys wanted to do the most? Well, I mean, we played with three right backs. Two of them have never played right back in their entire lives. Um, so that was difficult. You know, obviously, Hammy went in for Taylor when Taylor came out. And, you know, Taylor last week was unbelievable in, in the semi final. So obviously, she was a key part of, of the game plan going in to lose her. And then Hammy went in and did a really good job, you know. It was a poor tackle, I think, on Hammy. Um, but she did well when she went in there. And Mac Doniak, I looked at Mac, Mac can go play right back. And she goes, yeah, I'll be all right. And so she done well against Tobin. You know, plus the fact they're playing against Tobin here too. It's not like you know, someone else. They did a great job of keeping Tobin quiet. And to be honest with you, I thought the midfield kept them quiet. And you know, the, the, the three right backs that we had did a pretty good job down that side. But obviously, you know, Mac Doniak's not going to get as high as Taylor's going to get. Um, and obviously defensively, you know, she has to take a second sometimes a third look at what's going on. She's just not used to playing there. And, uh, it's funny at the beginning of the season you only have 20 players on a roster you know so there's two positions that you don't have cover in of course one of them was right back um but you know uh i give him a lot of credit i mean to go and play right back when you ever played there in, in the final mcdoniak was just like yeah let me out in the field and i give him a lot of credit hammy too you know, hammy came over to the sideline and said you're gonna be okay there she goes yeah don't worry about me so I, hats off to him was that the question <laughs> <laughs> it was the answer right. All right, okay. um and the, the follow up for mccall I'm not talking about the result, but do you think that the game would have unfolded the way it did if a yellow had been shown in the second minute? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the rules of the game are as such. You want the referee to get control of the game and, and hold on to the game. That's what they're there for. Otherwise, they, we'd take them out and just be balls to the wall. Um, you know, I thought she did her job. Um, I thought some things could have been changed and gotten control of the game earlier with maybe a couple cards shown, and I thought there was a couple of tackles that maybe could have been a red card, honestly. Um, it was clear what their game plan was. Um, I thought we did a good job as a group to stay together and keep our heads clear about it and still execute our game plan. Um, you know, I'm proud of our team and our club because we stay true to what we are and, and how we play ball. Uh, we didn't come out and try to play a different game or do anything that's not our style to win. We, we did everything that we've been doing all year, and. Uh, we were consistent with it. Um, obviously, they changed their game a little bit and had a plan to kind of throw us off ours. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of the performance tonight. Okay. 
Our next question. All right, this is for both both of you. Um, kind of speak to the, the attacking strength of your team tonight. Um, you know, you guys had 16 shots in comparison to their only four. So just kind of speak to the, the strength of your offense. Thanks for the stats. I didn't know that, but <laughs> I think it was the same as last week. I think it was 16-4 last week in the semifinal. Um, yeah, we obviously went to three up front, uh, second half, just because of what we had available and what was on the field at the time. Uh, and the midfield, you know, obviously matched up pretty well. And then, you know, you got Jess Mack in there, obviously she's physical and fast. We've got Lynn who's physical and fast. And uh, we've got Hatch who's physical and fast. But to be perfectly honest with you, we, we didn't, I don't think we stuck a lot of long balls and we still tried to play through the midfield as best we can, get the full backs as high as we could, and then try and get behind them. And, uh, you know, to get that many shots. I don't know what it was second half, but we did a pretty good job of getting balls into the box, and we just didn't turn them around enough. It was tough. They were sitting deep. They were dropping deep quickly. Five, you know, five in the back, and it was pretty difficult for us to break them down. But got to give them credit. You know, they had whatever their game plan was, and they got the result in the end. And you know, it's obviously great for Gavin and Merritt and and, and Mike Collop and those guys. They've done a fantastic job with the club, and to see them, uh, you know, to see them in the playoffs is always great because you need them in the playoffs. I just wish it wasn't us that they beat. You know. I think we have one of the most dangerous front lines in the league, and um, you know, obviously, as a back line for them, they're going to be shaky about that. And I don't even mean that as far as finishing and, and um, being dangerous in the attack, but they also worked their butts off to defend, and they made them very shaky, very nervous tonight. They weren't comfortable on the ball. Um, we were able to pin them in a couple times, and I don't think they were able to string many passes together and build out of the back. And that's something that uh, we wanted to do. And um, credit to our front line, you know, they're all-around players. They're not just attackers, but they also work defensively, and that really helped us today.